Well, so how y'all folks doing? Uh, happy election day to you. At least it's going to be happy for at least half the country. But I was going to do a video this week, but I wasn't planning on doing it today. But since I'm here by myself, I figured I might as well not pass this opportunity up. Now, the video I've been working on, uh, I, I figured I'll put that off. Since it's election day, I want to do something a little bit more relevant for today. Uh, I guess you could call it like a continuation of the blog I wrote, if you haven't read that yet. But, snatchfromtheflames.wordpress.com, if you want to read it. Should have put that there. But, it did, the blog didn't turn out exactly like I was hoping it would. Because, you know, for the last couple of weeks, I've, man, I've had all these ideas. Like, man, I'm just going to lay it down and this and that. And when I sat down and typed it, it was like, didn't quite work out like I thought it would. And nobody really read the blog, except maybe one person. But at the end of the blog, I put this verse in there. I'll read it to you now. Proverbs 29, check. Or Proverbs 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Now, we all know our two choices in this election. If you're voting for third party, whatever, that's your choice. But we got two choices. Hillary or Trump. Now, I wouldn't say neither one of them is righteous. But, uh. They're both kind of wicked in their own way. But, you know, they're not running for the office of pastor. They're running for the office of president. So, I look at them and say, well, which one could I deal with? I mean, not that that's a question for me, but which one could I deal with? And we look at what Donald Trump, he said this. When, and most of the things people are mad about him saying, they just take out of context and don't even look into what it really was but you said this you said this you said this this don't care what he said we called for Miss Universe fat don't care I do not care what I care about is all the things Hillary's done and I don't even have enough hand I don't even have enough fingers on this hand to count a dump truck full of crap she's done. Just all the corruption and the lying. Straight up lying to people's face. It's behind the scenes being a crook. I can I can put up with Donald Trump saying some things that are stupid. And he probably wish he hadn't said them. Maybe he could have said them better. You know, he's not a politician. I can put up with him saying some things that make me cringe. I cannot put up with Hillary. Just being promoted like, I can do this much corruption here, but and then you promote her to president. Now, it, now she can get away with a whole lot more corruption. But, uh, there's my little rant there. <laughs> but I want you to know, that uh, if you're a follower of Jesus Christ, I don't have to tell you who's in control. And we have a hope, and it's not in the White House or who's living in it. Our hope is in Jesus Christ, and we know where we're going someday, and we know he's coming back. And we know that God is in control of this whole thing called government. Whoever he, whoever God puts in power today is who he wants there and who's going to give him glory. Because even if it's somebody and they're all wicked and you're like, oh, they're wicked, God will use that to get glory. I mean, it might not be today, it might be down the road. But, you know, I got theories about that I won't share with you. 
read the blog if you want to. Uh, Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. And throughout the entire time we've existed, that's been God's M.O., so to speak. He wants what's best for us. He's not up there looking down on us like ants and he's got magnifying glasses. Everything he does is because he loves and cares about us. Even though we don't, you know, with our little minds, we don't know the th thoughts of God. <coughs> and we wouldn't understand him if we did. But just because bad things happen down here that we think are bad, that doesn't mean that God is not using them for his glory. We just, we just can't see it maybe right now. But, let's see what I got next. Oh yeah, I just come up with this one too. I just thought about that one. I'll close with that one. Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. So we know, like the Bible just said, it's all good. Because there, we might go through some suffering, some persecution, if Hillary gets elected because she's going to make the law to where it's such a way because let me tell you this one more thing about Hillary she believes she ever hear her say freedom of worship yeah instead of freedom of religion she says freedom of worship because freedom of worship means that you have the, you have the freedom to go into the church and worship you know, however you see fit. But after you leave the church, you leave it there in the church. You don't bring it out. Of the church. Well, freedom of religion is you have the right to live out your religion in your daily life. You see what she's getting at there? She don't mind if you're going to be a Christian, be a Bible thump or whatever she wants to call you, as long as you just do it in the church. And when you get back out around the community, Better act like a good little citizen. But whatever. Whatever. We should just. Like the disciples did. The apostles did in Acts. When they got. Persecuted. For the sake of Jesus. They celebrated when they got out. They were happy and singing about it. Because God. Counted them as worthy to suffer for his cause. I want y'all to remember that story in case some persecution comes our way. And we're not in it yet. Don't start thinking that we're in it yet, but we're headed there. You know, lady's rounding us up, cutting her head off, crucifying us upside down, or nothing like that. But we're headed down that road. And on that note, I wanted to end with Romans 8, 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. The sufferings of this time, the last year and a half of this election has been quite a suffering for me. I don't know if it has been for you, but I imagine. But the sufferings of this time are not to be compared. They're nothing compared to what God has in store for us that believe. If you don't believe, well, it's not going to turn out too good for you. But just remember that. And keep that in mind if Hillary wins tonight, which I assume she will, because in 2012, when Obama won re election, I thought there was no way, there was no way that was going to happen after the first four years of failure that he was. But he won. America kind of proved to me that night that they're not very smart. So I assume they're still not very smart. So I'm assuming the hell is going to win. Because no one knows how to critically think anymore. So tonight, if she does win, just remember that. And Trump wins, remember that. 
just because Trump wins don't mean some great things about to happen. I don't think, you know, all this stuff's going to happen because Trump wins. I just think it's going to delay the inevitable, which is the downfall of this country from liberal progressive ideas. But <coughs> So, another one, like I mentioned earlier on Facebook, pray without ceasing. Pray all day. Until... They call the election. <laughs> Just be praying for this election all day long. Lord. In fact, I'll just close this out with prayer right now. Heavenly Father, we ask you that you would not let wicked rule the day, but we also understand that you're going to put in place whoever you choose to put in place. And we understand that you will use this person to get the glory. We understand that America is worthy of any judgment you could bring upon it. We're certainly guilty of every sin in the book and then some. And uh, if you were to pass judgment on us, we would certainly deserve it, Lord. But we pray that you would hold off on that judgment just a little while longer, Lord. And keep this country free so that we can continue to legally go out and tell people about Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. So y'all do the same. Y'all pray today. And remember that no matter what happens, we have a hope. And God is on our side. So until next time, take up your cross, carry on.